guys, welcome back to another video. As you guys can tell, we are actually in the van. And the reason for that is we are potentially gonna go pick up a baby corgi. From the very second that we thought about moving in together, we always visualized some sort of animal, uh, especially like a dog. But unfortunately with the previous house, um, one of the persons who lived there was allergic to every kind of animal. So that was an issue, especially when getting a, a dog. So we ended up going with something uh, smaller. So we have the two chinchillas and we also have the two guinea pigs. And yes, we um, are still gonna keep those. Uh, but since we now have the opportunity to actually get an actual dog, um, and we actually have like a backyard. We went to go look uh, at animal shelters. For the most part, there was pure German Shepherds, pure, honestly, just Huskies, big ass dogs. When we went to a specific shelter, I did fall in love with a, they they claim it was a, a Siberian Husky, and I'll even add in and throw in videos of some of the animals we saw at the shelter, just so you get a reference of some of the animals we were kind of like working with at the time. <laughs> I'm petting him. Depending on the, the depending on the breed, it can have some sort of testing done. So on corgis, there is a spinal condition. It's called DM. I'm sure there's a 
actual long version of it, but it's abbreviated as DM. And typically you want to test your dogs for that because if they have that, they have spinal issues, which you obviously don't want. So these dogs, their ancestors have been tested and that's all known. So like we're, 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 per, we're really confident with what we've heard that everything should go swimmingly. So yeah, I know that was a bit of a tangent, but if you're actually interested in buying a dog, I recommend going to the AKC website, searching for it. We did reach out to a couple of breeders that were on that site. Um, out of the ones we reached out, we did like one of them, which is the one that we are actually going to right now. It's because she had videos of her playing with the dogs and she also uh, said that she's been doing this for 30 years and that none of her puppies have been returned to her. She does have the option to return the puppy in case anything goes wrong, whether it gets sick or whether you don't like the dog. So that's something we really like about it. She did reach out to us and she actually had an hour and a half phone call with Andrew, just kind of like getting a, a feel for him. And she actually said that she he like passed the test. Um, she just wanted to make sure that um, he was kind of like legit and not just like, a careless person who just wanted a corgi. The drive there is almost four hours, so honestly, um, we better be coming back with the dog. We don't plan on coming back empty-handed. Yeah. I'll see you guys when I get there, and hopefully I'm able to record there. Oh, we're just passing by, and look at, I don't think you're gonna be able to see them quite well, but there's a lot of cows or bulls. I don't know what they are, but. We passed like a We're like surrounded by them, yeah. She just got done eating a look, burger. There's a small over there. Uh, a burger, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how roundabouts work, so this is kind of... Just follow the crowd. Okay. Yeah, I <laughs> yeah we did that right. Yeah, so we are... We have like about an hour and a half left. Um, so... Oh, oh, my God, they're right here. <gasps> oh. Cows. Yeah, they were cows. Um, but yeah, hopefully we get there faster. Well, I'm sure for you guys, it'll be the next slide, but... See you guys when we get there. More of them cows. Cows. See you guys at McDonald's. <laughs> I don't I don't eat beef, so it doesn't matter, but Cute. there's also some horses Oh there's here. baby ones. Baby ones. Oh my god. Los Alamos restaurant. Oh, this is a winery. A venue. I've never seen one in person. I've always seen them on TV. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he looks so funny. All right, guys. After a very hard choice between lots of puppies, I don't even know where I'm looking at. Okay, we decided to go with him. His name um, is Orion. Um, the breeder was calling him what, what, Big Boy or Big Boy. Big Boy because he's bigger than the rest of the litter and um, he's obviously he weighs Big Guy. Big Guy, yeah. The, uh, the breeder called him Big Guy because he's bigger than the rest of the other puppies and um, he's honestly way like chubbier and, and just heavier in general. I just thought we got more bang for our buck. No, yeah. <laughs> I really wanted to go with like the traditional King Corgi, but honestly, look at his face. He is the cutest oh, so boy. He kind of looks like a little mini German Shepherd, and he has little baby uh, like boots, as we call him. Um, but he is the cutest little thing. Um, everything went well with the breeder. Um, she just kind of gave us more information about like the dogs and all of that. Uh, we are in the middle of nowhere. I have no connection. We are still about what, two hours away and he's just holding up like a champ, biting my <laughs> pants. But yeah, he is 10 weeks old. He already has his first rounds of shots. He gets his second round of shots um, in about a week. We're gonna take him to the vet and um, get him microchipped. Uh, but he is a very cute puppy. He hasn't been too of annoying in this car ride. He's been kind of for the most part just chilling, which is really good. Um, hope to give you more information when we are back home. Look at that little face. Another reason why I really liked him is he has some big old ears, which make him super cute. And his face in general is really, really cute. 
I, I know think, he looks a little funny, but I know. But. Yeah, I think out of the whole bunch, <laughs> we can throw in the video of the other ones, but out of the whole bunch, I think he's the cutest. And I like how his ears are kind of like not show point like straight up, but they're kind of sad. Yeah, he looks like Yoda. Grogu, is that you? And he's honestly already obsessed with Andrew. Like, he's been wanting to climb over there for the whole time that we've been here. Like, I'm breaking his back to try to like, go over he's there. Like, he's hugging my hand. Yeah. Now he's licking my hand. <laughs> the breeder said that we, for the most part, have to keep him indoors, um, aka our room, for a week um, up until we take him to the vet to get his second dose of shots. Um, because honestly, they do have a high risk of getting parvo and that could kill them, especially since they're puppies. So we are honestly just gonna keep him indoors for now until he's like ready to go. We got a new driver. Take the wheel, puppy. <laughs> I don't think he likes that. Oh, he likes it. He's driving. <laughs> he likes it. So he doesn't turn into the semi truck that's about to pass. Well, he just good. wants to be on your lap the whole time. Like, fuck, fuck me, right? I'm like, I um, have a whole blanket if he just wants to sit there. Look at him. Oh my goodness, he's the cutest thing. Mm -hmm. made it home after a 12 hour driving day and he is very excited to be home huh yes Nico is very excited we stopped at PetSmart to buy him a dog bed a couple water dishes a, a little collar and all that so we're gonna get him settled in <laughs> oh you're so cute Mm -hmm. He's living luxury. He has a little, little lamp to warm up his little bed. The irony is that he was the literally. Little lamp? <laughs> I think it's the power of the, the sun. The irony is that he was sleeping in the pee pad instead of the actual bed. And now he has so. hiccups because I startled him. Yeah. What is your food? And I just heard his stomach growl, so. We bought him his little food bin, but I don't think he wants to eat right now. He's so cute. So I forgot to film an outro for you guys, but I just want to say thank you guys for watching. I am so excited to finally have a puppy of my own. And I can't wait for us to be able to take him to car meet so you guys can meet him as well. And I just want to say thank you guys for watching this video. And I hope you guys fall in love with him just as much as we have.